Hello. So this is a different type of video. I was contacted by this company, Unitech, to take a look at this multi-port game reader for the Nintendo Switch. Um, this was, full disclosure, this was sent to me, so this is a very different type of experience, but I do not know exactly how this thing works, but it got me curious. So just by first impression, you might be like, oh, it's just a holder for your Switch, but not really, actually. It is a switcher for your Switch. So theoretically, you can put eight games in here and quickly switch between them with a remote. Um, I'm not really sure how that works or what is going on with this thing, but like theoretically, it's a pretty cool idea. I mean, like I really love physical media and the Switch is one of the very few consoles that's like promoting physical media, but a lot of people will tell you that the sort of inconvenience of having cartridges they have to put in and out is a turnoff for them. So having them all, because, you know, their Switch is stationed. It's not, you know, I don't want to keep moving it around. I don't want a case of games. So this is kind of a theoretical reason to still do physical media, but still have the convenience of a bunch of games to flip through, like digital games. So kind of a de neat idea. Um, it's 60 bucks for this thing, um, which is just right off the rip, a little expensive for what it is in my head, but we'll take a look at it, see how convenient it is. Um, I don't know. I've never done a video like this, but I thought it'd be cool. It'd be interesting. It'd be different. And we're on my desk, which is different because I'm going to actually, you know, look at this thing real time. So I guess it wasn't even taped shut. All right. So you get this thing, which is actually the device itself. So yeah, it's, it's pretty hefty, but you can see it has eight game slots has a button here, which I'm not sure what it does. And then it has like a plug-in thing. So it, it presumably is taking the data and moving it to here, which is interesting. I, I again, I'm not really 100% sure how that works. So we have this little remote thing, which I'll take a look at. And then they have oof, a QR code manual. That's not fun. Oh, well. Um, yeah, I'm not 100% sure how this works. And I guess we'll go to the QR code on my computer and uh, check it out because I am really, I think I need a manual for this thing, I'm not gonna lie. Huh. Okay, well that didn't work. The QR code did not work. So, or at least the, the link at the top of the QR code did not work, which is um, a little frustrating. I'm just gonna look this thing up. All right, we found it, we found it. Okay, it was on Amazon all along. Who would have thought? Okay, so step one, we have our switch. It literally gives you a step-by-step, -step, which I think is very funny. Uh, we have my Switch with its funny Donkey Kong thing. It's actually my... I'm going to be using my girlfriend's Switch because I have a Switch Lite, actually. So, so yeah. So, you just apparently snap the Switch game cartridge into the, the Switch dock. So, I assume it goes like that. So, it's in the back which is immediately kind of inconvenient, I will say. I get it, like I get why, but uh, turning your switch around to get to it is a little cumbersome. You can have the USB cable to the switch dock, so that's a convenient thing too. It powers through the switch itself, so you don't have to have uh, a power brick for it. So this just comes with a pretty nice meaty USB-C cable, which is nice. It's really long too, considering how short this is so plug it into here here okay and that powers it um insert the cartridge by plugging it into the thing okay okay so that's that's pretty simple it's pretty much exactly how i thought it would work so basically what we're gonna do is i'm going to put the switch in here we are going to plug this Right, into the switch. Which mark? Oh, there's a game in here. Okay. It goes right there. And then we'll plug in some games here. So I guess we'll have game one will be Super Mario Party. This is just whatever's the thing. Okay, it does have a clickiness. When you put the game in, there is a clickiness to it, which is nice. Um We'll just fill, fill this shit up. So we're gonna do game two is Animal Crossing. Game three is gonna be Mario. 
It's pretty satisfying to just click these little guys in, I will say. Game four. Let's do Mario Kart for game five. These are just what's in my girlfriend's Switch case. We'll do uh, Splatoon for game six. We'll do uh, Harvest Moon for game seven. And we'll do Professor Layton for game eight. So we're, we're loading this thing up. Let's get it. Let's get it loaded up. Let's see how this does. So obviously, I got to plug in my switch. So we're gonna switch over to my monitor so you can see what I'm doing. All right. So we have the switch plugged in now, and uh, I'll be honest. This is immediately pretty interesting because it read all of the games that are plugged in here, and I wasn't expecting that. So um, we're gonna use this remote thing it comes with, I guess. Um, ugh. This is the remote it comes with. It's like a little disc. Okay, so I click it, and it goes between them. So this is eight. The mystery journal game was eight. So if I click it again, this is one. This is two, right? Because that was Animal Crossing was two. That was Mario. If I do Mario Odyssey. Mario Kart. So it only has one, you can only go in one direction. So it's just, you click, it, this remote is very simple. You click the big button in the middle and it just goes to the next game. <laughs> but I'll admit that's, that works pretty well. I mean, all I'm doing is, you know, clicking it and it's moving. The light on the thing, I don't know if you've noticed, has changes. So I assume each game is corresponded to a different light. So the first one is red, it looks like. The second one is orange. But I mean, it's doing its job. I kind of wish it was like a like an up down like a little volume thing. It's a little barbaric of a of a solution for this. But I mean, I guess we'll test out Mario Party just to see if it works at all. So let's see. Now I assume if you click the button while in a game, it'll just take out the cartridge more or less. But hey, it's working. Is this my file? Oh my god! I'm gonna be playing this on my file. So yeah, it works. Uh, it works pretty much exactly as advertised, which is convenient. Uh, there's, it's a little messy wire-wise in the back. I really don't know why this USB cable it came with is this long. It could have easily been like one of those short, like three or five inch USB cables or whatever, because I just feel like it's a little unnecessary to have one this long. It just makes it end up, oh, hey, Halloween. Uh, it just makes it ends up being a little cumbersome. So yeah, uh, if I was bored and I was like, fuck Mario Party, I hate Mario Party. And I was like, hand me the clicker switcher thing. I'm like, yeah, fuck it. Let's play Animal Crossing instead. Actually, Animal Crossing won't work with my file. But, you know, I'm like, you know what? I'm not feeling Animal Crossing. Let's go uh, Mario Odyssey. Sure. But yeah, I think, I'm not sure how the technology works with this. I, I feel like it is simply like the data from the game is just being transferred to this which is just being useful it's hard to say whether how like how uh like sturdy this little like cartridge thing is um i would assume it's fine like i would assume it would it would do its job and last as long as it needs to last but you know i wonder if that's replaceable easily or whatever because you know you're basically using only this, you know, it's basically, well, you don't, but necessarily you don't have to take it out. So like the actual, um, the contacts on it theoretically should not be a problem. Um, and I assume if you were to like, let's just try it. I got to test it. If I just switch games. Yeah. Okay. It just, it sees it as the cartridge was removed. So that's fine. Um, but yeah, uh, this thing works as intended, I'd say. Yeah, I think the only problem I necessarily have with it right now is the wire management, which, I mean, I don't have a back to my Switch, but even if I did have a back to the Switch, tucking all of this into the back of the Switch would be kind of a pain. Um, it's really nice to have this, but I will say, in terms of ease of access, it's kind of frustrating because a lot of people will have this thing pushed against the wall in some capacity. It will be a little harder to get back here Theoretically, if the job of what it's supposed to do, which is make it more convenient. But I guess the idea is how many games are you playing at once, right? Like, is it more than you would have in a 
standard switch case like this, you know, there's like a few slots in this thing. Well, you can put eight of these in here and it functions and looks nice enough too. I think it is clean and I like how it's, I think it's a smart design choice to snap onto the uh, dock like this. Time will tell if this thing will still be useful with the Switch 2 inevitably, but as it stands, it's pretty convenient. Um, $60 convenient? That's hard to say. Uh, it might depend on your use case. I could see this being a like $30 convenient product, you know, like something that helps you just like, it's an easy justification to help you just, you know, do it. But if it's, if you have a huge TV setup and you're just, that's the thing stopping you from using your switch more often, then yeah, I'd say it's probably a decent investment. Yeah, Unitech. I didn't really do any research on them. I think they have other models of this potentially. I have a switch light, so this thing is basically useless to me, <laughs> but uh, for a docked switch, Convenient, I would say that. It is definitely the word to describe it would be convenient. But yeah, uh, I guess thanks Unitech for sending me this thing. I'm sure I'll get use out of it. Uh, I'm sure we'll keep it hooked up to the dock switch. But yeah, uh, maybe wait for a sale potentially uh, for this thing. Maybe if you're, if you're curious, I'd say maybe keep your eye on it and wait for a sale. Um, otherwise, uh, yeah, pretty cool. I don't know. Pretty cool piece of deck. It does promote physical game media a bit better again like i said a lot of people like when i like you know argue back and forth with them about physical media a lot of people's problem with it is that they don't want it's so convenient to have all your games in one place be able to download them all regularly or just like you know access them all through your downloads or whatever um this is borderline the same thing you know like you know you're holding how many gigabytes of games right here you know you're holding one to eight times probably somewhere between four and six gigabytes each that's a lot of memory you're holding just in this back part um so it helps promote physical media uh you know i'm always a a believer in that you know one of these days your switch will die and you can't access that digital media anymore so at least if your switch dies you still have your physical cartridges in the unitech thing <laughs> whatever also i'm curious can i Press this. You can't. Okay, so you can click the top too without the remote just to switch between them, which is nice. Um, again, I think I would have rather had a volume, like an up down kind of thing, um, but maybe that was a a stipulation with the tech itself. Um, maybe you just can't. They couldn't do that or something. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Let me know if you like this. I know I usually said I wasn't gonna do sponsored content, but this felt less sponsored I just like it's like I'm reviewing it basically so and it's something that I genuinely wanted and something that I thought was pretty convenient and I could potentially advertise you know well because it's something that's adjacent to things I have promoted on my channel in the past so yeah um I don't have any affiliate link or anything even so uh if you pick one up let me know if not no problem <laughs> uh either way uh thanks for watching I uh will be back eventually for a new video I'm sure see ya Bye. Wait, where's my bye? Oh, bye. There she is. <laughs> uh.